The other day, we were covering a wild podcast where Alex Jones said his Hollywood friends were getting attacked by shadow demons at night, and they were scratching up their chests and things of that nature. Um, and, you know, you hear that and you go, goodness gracious, this man needs Thorazine. He needs antipsychotic medication. What is wrong with him? This is wild. And by the way, when he was making those arguments, there was no pushback around him. Nobody was like, really? Shadow demon attacks of your friends? And by the way, what else did Alex say? I can't tell you who they are. I can't tell you. Well, how convenient. <laughs> the most ridiculous, absurd stories anybody's heard. And you're like, well, I can't tell you who it was. Come on now, guys. Well, anyway, it's not just Alex Jones. It is also some Republican politicians. So here we go. This is in Political Wire. GOP lawmaker says Mount Rushmore is a demonic portal. If we were to play the game that Republicans play all the time, it's like, well, that sounds really unpatriotic. Why do you hate America? Are you going to say the Lincoln Monument is possessed next? <laughs> like, what is wrong with these people? A South Dakota state representative, Joe Donnell, <laughs> the most, like, generic name of all time, said on a radio show that Mount Rushmore was a demonic portal spreading communism across the country. Here's what he said, quote, Even Donald Trump's landing in the Black Hills at Mount Rushmore on July 4th when the governor... Uh, Christy Noem put the message out that fireworks are returning to South Dakota. That was a prophetic word. And I kind of got the feeling that what we're really dealing with in that portal was communism. That witchcraft altar, witchcraft altar, and those things that are happening in the Black Hills, what we're really dealing with is communism. It's the ideology and all the demonic entities and spirits behind that. Now, you might hear me say all this and go, I, that's so insane. How do we know it's real? Well, this is how you know it's real. The Lord revealed to me is that this Mount Rushmore has a direct, direct ley line to Washington, D.C. And he said basically that as we continue to work in prayer and do the work of the ministry, that God was going to break that connection. Because it's like in order to understand the spiritual realm of what we're facing, we have to realize that in order for the enemy to do anything, he needs the agreement of human beings. Like, in order to be empowered to do more damage, he needs the agreement of human beings. And oftentimes that comes in the form of an altar, an active altar that acts as a portal for demonic things. And so that's what we're dealing with. And people that are into that are brought into it because they think they're doing good. Some of them, um, they think they're doing the right thing. And then we have all kinds of people that are trying to get into native practices, new age religion. And that's like a hotbed for all that. And so when I go into the Black Hills, I really have to prepare myself because there's a lot of stuff going on. But I just I just know that God is doing something. Even Donald Trump's landing in the Black, in the Black Hills at Mount Rushmore July 4th, when the Governor Christy Noem put the message out that fireworks are returning to South Dakota, that was a prophetic word. And God spoke to me. He said, when Donald Trump steps foot on this territory, he said, there's something that's going to be done as far as the Constitution being upheld. It's going to bring a breakthrough with the Constitution. And I kind of got the feeling that what we're really dealing with in that portal is communism. That witchcraft altar and those things that are happening in the Black Hills is what we're really dealing with is communism. It's the ideology and all the demonic entities and spirits behind that. When I see a clip like this, I get despondent. I just get really sad because like I look at our, our lawmakers and I'm like, well, gee, I hope they're working to get people higher wages. I hope they're working to get people health care. I hope they're trying to get people some paid vacation time by law. Like I look at them and I think, well, I hope they're working on social policy to increase their level of freedom. So to legalize marijuana or things of that nature. And, like, look at how far away we are from that being the focus of our politicians. Look at how far away we are. We got a babbling moron who says that Mount Rushmore is a demonic portal brought about by witchcraft to bring communism. They, like, where on earth do they get this stuff from? Because, look... I don't even know how many of you know this, but most communists are ardent atheists. You know, it was uh, 
Karl Marx who said that religion is the opiate of the masses, right? He was like anti-religion. And most communists are totally atheistic. So they don't believe not just in a god, but also in demons and things of that nature. And here he's out there saying like, the demonic portal brought about by witchcraft of Mount Rushmore, they're trying to usher in communism through that. As if what? Like, number one, like, we have organized communists in this country. Number two, like, they're doing sorcery to bring about communism. Number three, what are the chances he could even define what communism is? What are the chances he could do that? I, he can't define communism. He can't define socialism. How in any way, shape, or form would this stuff make it so that the workers own the means of production? These things are totally unrelated. I don't even know how to respond to these people anymore, man. I don't even know how to respond to these people. The idea that we even have any elected communists in this country is laughable. There's not a single politician that I know of who's an actual communist. Even the ones that they would point to, like the furthest left, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Bernie Sanders, they are social democrats. They believe in a Scandinavian-style system where you have a hybrid of capitalism and socialism and you just give people health care and education and a better social safety net and shorter work hour hours. They have a better, you know... Uh, work leisure balance that's all these people want to do and instead we get mount rushmore is a demonic portal brought about by witchcraft to usher in communism i kind of wish that the left was as powerful as this guy makes the left out to be right like we have this secret plot this plan to do sorcery at mount rushmore to usher in communism bro we can't even like get a petition signed by enough people. <laughs> you think we're like super villains who are organizing, using sorcery to usher in communism? And like, how would that work? We, we like cast a spell by Mount Rushmore and then we wake up the next day and like, poof, would you look at that? We are fully communist. Like, what are you talking about? Oh my God. Oh my God. Anyway, look, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling because... I like to, I, I like to, um, I have a lot of faith and confidence in my ability to deconvert people, to spread my ideology and my ideas and my philosophy. I think I can be a pretty convincing guy, but I am powerless in front of a man like this because we are like seven layers deep of idiocy. Like I can get through one or two layers of idiocy, right? I, I could provide the argumentation and the reasoning and the, the vibes to deconvert from that. But when we're like seven layers deep on idiocy, I don't know how to get through to you. I don't know how to get through to you. There are no sorcerers. There is no witchcraft. There are no demons. Mount Rushmore is not a portal. And nobody's trying to usher in communism. And by the way, even if they were, it wouldn't get anywhere. I mean, we don't even have like center-left ideas that get somewhere. <laughs> Never mind communist ideas. Jesus Christ. All right. You guys um, get the gist of it, but I really wish that it wasn't the case that we have absolutely psychotic state politicians who believe psychotic things because there, there's no captain of the ship, man. This is the blind leading the blind all day long. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.